Okay, back to the comparisons. I feel like it never stops. But to be honest, that is human nature. Until the day we die. I don't know why everybody gets so pissy when it comes to like stop comparing. First of all, it's not just music, y'all. In literally every single genre, niche, passion, hobby, whatever, everybody's comparing their own interests just because there's pros and cons to everything and everything is subjective. And everybody thinks that what they like is the best because we're all technically narcissists when it comes down to it, unless you're depressed. But, and that's not even like a Playboy Cardi reference, okay? So stop being a vagine and just let's talk about it. Okay, so there was this viral comparison or whatever you call this like greater than tweet where they were saying filthy is better than pierre born and they stated never love someone's beat so much like filthy and i just wanted to let all the new gens know come on filthy's still relatively new in the game i know he's been in the working on dying producer collective and he, he's a he's an og right i mean working on dying was the main producer collective for eternal attack as well so he was on there he's worked with uzi probably a lot more artists than just playboy cardi and uzi but more so been popularized in this whole lot of red era that dropped in uh end of 2020 mind you and so it's been two years but what we all have to realize is that loki pierre born created all this shit created this whole genre he helps cardi formulate the sound with self-titled and die lit i think die lit is actually the precursor to a whole lot of red because it kind of started the synths or the uh video game-esque like electronic noises working with trippy red as well which you know was part of the initiation of their beef a while back and then pierre wouldn't sell trippy beats for less than 80k we'll, we'll see where that goes apparently they're cool and they're working together again but regardless so die lit that dropped in 2018 but pierre obviously been working with cardi and starting the sound like 2016 ish 2017 and so without pierre i don't think even I'm not going to say he made Filthy, but I think that he's a huge influence more so than Filthy. I definitely think Filthy's killing it, one of the top producers in the game right now. But a lot of people are just disrespecting Pierre Bourne's status as a producer. I know in the past couple years, he's been a little bit more low-key because he's uh, focused on his own solo artist career rather than being a producer. But I think he just needs to show his nuts real quick and give Drake cardi uzi all these big beats but i think what happened is cardi didn't want to stick with his beats for a whole lot of red because he didn't want his sound to remain stagnant i'm not saying that pierre's production hasn't evolved but i think that it's a trend that you know even self-titled pierre sounded way different than die lit pierre so maybe die lit i think is where pierre has kind of stuck his sound to with the uh you know melodic sense and so filthy was just a whole nother level of super grungy uh rock infused sense as well more hardcore rage if you will and so with that being said filthy has his own style way different than pierre born at this point but i'm just saying without pierre and again i always think star power rises to the top so not trying to take anything away from filthy because he very well might have become the the producer he is today without pierre even being alive but gotta give respect where it's due pierre born is the goat and i think he's just been here for way longer than filthy work with basically everybody i think a lot of these new gens just have recency bias in that filthy's been more active as of recent and so therefore they think he's better i mean it happens to all of us i'm not trying to hate on anybody who has this recency bias but if you live through the self-titled die lit era basically pierre was the golden child nobody could touch him he was zeus and it looks like the poll won with 857 votes in two hours pierre is winning about two-thirds of the votes so i think it's settled pierre born as of right now i think i like more especially because i saw this other comment on the instagram post that i made that he makes all of his beats from scratch sure he probably collaborates with other producers but working on dying as a collective in that a lot of the times one person will do drums and then other people will do varying instruments to add on to it whereas pierre i feel like 
he's super talented in the sense that he creates it from scratch. I'm not saying Filthy or the working on dying producers can't do that because they definitely do. All I'm saying is just give it more time, y'all. So if Pierre's been here since 2016 and go all the way to 2022, that's six years. So Filthy kind of came in the game, was popularized with Whole lot of Red, let's say 2020. He's obviously been in working on dying before then, so I'm not trying to say that he hasn't been killing it, but like his name hasn't been as big so give him till 2026 which seems like in so long and then we can compare the two hopefully pierre actually gets more active again sending people beats maybe dropping another solo album to show his nuts oh and by the way i just want to say i also respect pierre in this situation a little bit more than filthy because when cardi first blew up in the mainstream with the song magnolia one of the factors was actually the beat in which at the very beginning it went hey yo Oh, Pierre, you want to come out here? And so I think that Pierre was more part of Cardi's come up than Filthy was, which is a little bit more impressive because no hate, but I think whatever producer Cardi works with at this point is going to become famous just by association. Whereas Pierre was part of the come up when Cardi didn't necessarily have this power. You feel me? So that's all I got to say. Y'all let me know in the comments who you think is the better producer. I don't want to hear no people crying in the comments, like stop comparing, but you know, they're they're, they're going to be there, y'all. So give them a dislike for me. It's been your boy, Bob Lamb, signing off. Of course, make sure to like and subscribe to the Bob Gang if you wouldn't. Peace out, God, people. Nice.